Hey guys, this is Manish and today I'm going to tell you how you can customize your default WordPress directories like WP content or WP admin. Okay, so today I'm going to talk you about uh, WP content folder. Many of them, uh, many of you may already know like uh, how to customize WP content folder, but uh, many times you would be failed due to some improper instructions how it actually works and how it can be helpful for you so today i'm going to tell you every single thing very clearly okay so first of all which is most important to know is uh, that basically is not being told on many other video tutorials already available on internet like in youtube or whenever you search it on google and in google blog post as well so the very first thing that i will tell you about this is if you are actually interested to customize the default WP content folder, then you always need to be 100% sure that you are going to try this method in a new WordPress installation. Okay? Never try to implement this customization on a live website. Okay? Because obviously all, all the uh, contents and uh, files, everything was available on your running website. And that, that was following the old and traditional WordPress system, but all of a sudden you go in there and make the customization and force WordPress and it's uh, all the available files to follow the new way of accessing the files. So I'm sure many of them and so many things will be confused and because of that your file, your website will be completely messed up. Okay, so I never ever recommend to use this customization in a live website so if you are going to make this stuff just a try then why not try it in a live in a new installation because in new installation your wordpress will follow that instruction which has been given by you okay so currently on the screen you can see the default wordpress admin dashboard okay so obviously it's already installed and set up so i'm gonna start okay so first of all when you have to add the the new rules and customizations to modify the directory name and uh, modify the url structure and everything then what we have to go do is we have to go back to the wordpress installation directory so i'm currently on my local host server so i'm going back to the directory here wordpress is installed so this is the wordpress installation directory and these are the default directories created by the wordpress okay so what we have to do is right now we have to mo modify this folder wp content okay so to modify this folder we have to add some custom commands and which can be added in WP config file so just open this file in a notepad which I have already opened here we are so this is our file and in this file just scroll it down to the bottom and then here you can see this code line so just make a space and uh, here we have to add a couple of codes okay so i have already written all the codes which have to be added there for example here is copy this code define the bp content folder name and the new directory name will be dir okay i have given it dir okay the sort name of directory but you can give any other name that you want okay it's not a certain name like uh, it must be dir or something else it, it depends on you whatever you want okay so if you want to add an instruction then you just have to add a commented instruction here just like this and uh, some here we are this is the command line code line to tell WordPress to follow the new WP content folder name. Okay, so new WP content folder will be DIR, not the default WP content folder. Okay, 
So we have to add another code. So go back to the notebook file and copy here. This code line will actually direct the word for us to follow this new rule. Okay. So you can also comment it again. So that in future, if a new word developer come on to your WordPress website to work uh, or to make any kind of modification on it, then he can get to know why these custom codes are added here. Okay. So these comments are pretty much important. And it should be actually added whenever your website is not being moderated or modified by only single person. Okay. And if that's your website, then you can do whatever you want. So this is the third line that I'm, I'm going to add. This is the line actually where I need to give some explanation for you because uh, all other YouTubers or all other experts who have already given the video about the same topic, they have never told you how it can actually be tricky for you. Okay. So currently you can see the WP site URL here is HTTP. Okay. And uh, I have given a new comment here. I'm going to add this comment and then I tell you why it is important and what actually I want to tell you. Here I added my comment and then this is actually an uh, instruction to the WordPress so that uh, WordPress should not break down the URL again and again for your plugins and themes. Okay. So I simply added these code lines, these two code lines to tell the WordPress to follow this new directory name and keep following this new rule for all the plugins and installation or oh, plugins and themes available in this WordPress, WordPress installation. Okay. But here, the very first thing you can see HTTP. Okay. So normally when you have a normal WordPress installation without any customization like this, then you don't have to take care of uh, HTTP or HTTPS, okay? A secure hypertext transfer protocol or non-secure, okay? Because uh, uh, if you have installed SSL certificate on your website and then you have to update the HTTP and HTTPS system, then what you have to do is just go back to your admin panel and then go to settings and update your URL, okay? From HTTP to HTTPS. But if you have made the customization just like this, then not only updating the HTTPS URL in the admin settings area, but you also have to update that HTTPS URL right here as well. But if you don't do that, okay, if you don't do that, you don't update the HTTPS here just like this, HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash in this wp-config file, then your SSL installation will not work very well or you can say it will not work okay you will see the warning of SSL security okay so whenever you have to install a new SSL certificate on your website after making this customization then simply come back to the WP config file and update this HTTPS to oh sorry HTTP to HTTPS that's it Okay, so I hope you got to know this one. And now we have to add the last line of the code that is here. This code of line code, it, it actually tells the WordPress to create a new upload folder. Okay, and then inserting all the files which are uploaded within your WordPress, go to files folder. This folder name is also as per your choice it is not certain i mean you don't have to give the name files only okay you can give it any name that you want okay so i have finally added all the code codes which are important to make this customizations and then i'm gonna add the new comment here as well Okay, so the comment is added and we are good to go. What we have to do is we have to save this file and I'm going to save it. 
and then <laughs> go back to your WordPress. Okay, you can see here. Here it is showing HTTPS. You know why? Because I have added here HTTPS. So I'm going to remove it and then save it again. I'm going to save it again and refresh the page. Okay, you can see that there is no problem here. Okay, so currently there is nothing wrong, but I'm going to tell you again. You have to try this method in the new installation. Otherwise, you may face some problems. What kind of problems? I'm going to tell you. So first of all, I have made the customization on WP config file. And now we have to do one more thing. We have to go to the default WordPress installation directory. Here we are. And then here you have to modify your WP content folder name to the name that you have given in your WP config file. So go back to the config file and check what was the name was given. It was DIR. Okay, so copy this name or just remember it and come back to the WP installation directory and insert that name. Here it is. Okay, so I modified the name and then go back to the admin area and reference the page again. Okay, I refreshed it and then you can see that WordPress is now accessible with your customized WP content folder. Okay, so I have to do a little more testing here. Suppose if you have to add a new plugin, then how will it work? Let's check it out. Okay, if we have to install Gutenberg, okay, let's test whether it's working or not. I I'm a little confused. It may not work, but if it works, then pretty good. Okay, so the plugin is installed and then we have to activate it. Okay, so plugin installed and activated. So there is no problem with the URL and with the customization of the directory because I have already given the commands to WordPress to follow the new URL and new directory rules and I think it's already taken and it's pretty working okay so I'm gonna go to media and then let's check is it following the new directory for the media files so let's upload a new file here okay let's upload this file okay I'm gonna upload the logo and check it which directory it is actually showing yeah, yeah, you can see I had given the upload folder a new file, uh, upload folders a new name that was files. Okay, I'm gonna show you where I had given it. Keep in editor. Okay, you can see this one the uploads folder was modified to files. Okay, so this is the files folder. And why it's not within your new WP content folder? Because uh, as per the new commands, the uploads folder will no longer be within your WP content directory. It's out of the WP content directory and it will now be available on the root of your WordPress installation. How is it possible and how, where it will be actually? Then I'm going to test, uh, show you the backend. I mean the installation directory of the WordPress. Go back to the installation directory and you can see this new directory which is uploads directory and these are all the same rules which are being followed by WordPress. Okay. I hope you got to understand how it actually works. Okay. So I'm sure you enjoyed this video but once again I'm going to warn you and I'm going to actually recommend you never use this method in any website which was previously working and following the standard method of WordPress okay if you do that then I do not take any guarantee whether this system will actually work this customization will actually work or not okay so I highly recommend you to use this customization only in a new installation okay